is Tina Elmer with Prudential Fox Merge to welcome home Philly. For today for Philly Neighborhood Section Graduate Rittenhouse Square, we're going to feature Pub and Kitchen and we're here with Ed Hackett. Hey Ed. Hi, how are you doing? Good, thanks. So tell me a little bit about, you You obviously are located in a great location between Graduate and Rittenhouse um, and Fittler actually, but tell me a little bit about how you picked this location, how you guys came here. When all of us got together, we were really looking to open up this concept that we call Pub and Kitchen. We wanted to be more in the neighborhood instead of more in like Center City, but we still wanted to have the opportunity to draw people from Center City. And uh, we fell in love with a spot that was formerly called Chaucer's on 20th and Lombard. It was a dive bar for like the past 20 years. And uh, we just saw it and we knew that it was perfect for what, for what we wanted to do. So tell me um, the concept behind uh, Pub and Kitchen. Uh, Pub and Kitchen is basically a, uh, it's a corner bar, both upscale food. People call it gastro pub, people say we're like European influence. Basically, it's a, it's a corner bar with a good uh, selection behind the bar and a great talented chef. So tell us a little bit more about, I know that obviously I've been here, I've eaten your food, it's mm -hmm. amazing. Tell mm -hmm. us a little bit more about your chef. Uh, the chef is uh, John Adams. Uh, I've known John now for probably like 10 years. Uh, he's, he's worked all over in Spain, New York, uh, at the snack bar up the street on 20th Street. And uh, yeah, we, we got together and we decided that uh, we saw a trend in dining, moving away from fine dining more into like casual fare. And that's what we kind of were going to ourselves. That's what we kind of moved into. So we decided to open up a corner bar, you know, burgers and beer, loud music, turning music down, like turning music up, and just have people come in and have a good time. Cool. So what's your favorite menu item? Uh, I'd say the scallops. We're getting day boat scallops in right now from Barnegat in uh, New Jersey. Uh, they're cast iron seared and done with a little bit of a chowder sauce. Wow. Pork belly, a little bit of melted leeks, fennel, and some confit fingerling potatoes. So I love that. So, that so good. I think I think the great thing that John does here is he takes like really, really like simple, casual comfort food and gives it a little bit of a tweak just so it's a little bit more of like his style, which you're, which you're really like. Do you change your menu seasonally or how does that, like do you, is it pretty standard? No, we, have, we actually we actually change our menu a lot actually. Um, we change our menu a couple things every week, but we do like big seasonally changes. Um, we, we have a great, uh, a great relationship with local farmers and also with our fishermen and everything like that and our butchers and everything like that, so it's a big thing. And I love the lobster BLT in the spring. Lobster, I'm waiting for it. Yeah, lobster BLT with the truffle Dijonese, you can't go so wrong good, with it. So good. So I know um, you guys have good space. Do you allow for parties that, mm -hmm. as people want to throw a party here? Yeah. Can Actually, yeah, our second floor of Public Kitchen, uh, which we renovated last February, um, we, we can do sit down dinners for 25 and cocktails for 40. It's nice to have your own little private bar and everything like that so you can come in. Decorate the place if you want, put your type of music on, have a dance party if you want. So, cool. cool. so tell us where people can find you um, on the internet or location, give us so that we can come in and have yeah, some good food drinks. Well, we're in the corner of 20th and Lombard. Um, people give us a hard time because we might have a sign outside. But we do, we have our logo, it's a pavit, it's can't, can't <laughs> rabbit. And uh, yeah, and uh, you, can, you can find us on the web at pubbykitchen.com. Or uh, the best way to see what's going on is we have a blog that we update daily. It's at 1946lombard.com. Nice. And you can see like the chef's photography, some recipes and stuff like that, some stuff that we're working on. So it's a, it's a nice way to see the, the background of the restaurant. Awesome. Well, definitely check them out. Come have a great drink and burger, awesome atmosphere. And you can always find me at welcomehomephilly.com. Thanks so much, Ed. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you.